Hey, hello, scrappers. Uh, today I got a little Razor scooter there, electric scooter. So let me get this camera set up. And zoom in a little bit here. And we'll see what we can do about tearing it down. Turn it on, light comes on. But uh, picked it up as junk, so I have no charger. And uh, I can turn it on, hit the gas, nothing. So something, something's gone bad in there. And since it's scrap, of course, one thing. Okay, that's ten. That's ten. That's ten. Yeah. Top piece might be aluminum, maybe. But everything else is pretty much tin. And it looks like it's got a little aluminum collar right here. So, let's see. Guess I'll start here with the handlebars. Got an Allen screw right there. That one's too big. That one's too big. Eighth inch. The next one down, 330 seconds. That one doesn't fit, so it's got to be metric. Yeah, that one fits. So that's the throttle control right there. And we got, looks like a Nice big one right there, so that was three millimeters. So I just went ahead and took, took it, figured out if that one's metric, the other one is too. Okay, now the hand grips don't want to seem to come off, so I can't really slide the other off. But what I'll see if I can't do. Of course, I might just wait till I get further along here. Uh, Really, I don't plan on really using any of that stuff anyway, so I can just throw all that in the tin pile. The only thing I may want to try to salvage. I get my mini bolt cutters. Cut these cables. pneumatic and it's flat, so I don't know if I even want to try to save it. Yeah, I can try it. So I'll see if I can it's funny the Allen screws are metric and this is standard, five eighths. You never know I may have to do a project around here and need a little tire. Of course I don't know if I want to use a pneumatic one where you gotta Keep airing it up every week. You know, really, then it might be hard to get rid of. But if I just leave it intact, I can I can throw it all into the tin pile like it is. Okay, I'll, I'll pull the top off and see what we got there. I'll get over here so I don't get in the, in the view. A lot of time you got to watch your driver when you're doing because you can spin it fast and strip them right out so sometimes stubborn screws is better to do by hand and then also make sure that bit seats down in there really good okay we got something spinning under there Humid out here and warm. I get my towel. Keep the sweat out of my eyes. I'm dripping on my glasses. Okay, let's see what we got in here. We're just little bitty nuts. So I will put that over here.
Okay, everybody's doing okay out there? Finding lots of scrap. I mean, tis the season. Yep, thanks plastic. Doesn't it figure? Probably should just could it, well, I had to take it off, I guess, to get the battery out of there. Left it on for more weight. I want to get the motor off. That's one of the few things that's probably worth anything on here. Lead acid battery, if that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Most of the Hot Wheels and stuff have lead acid batteries. Think the lead acid batteries, 23, 25 cents a pound. I'm not exactly sure what they're going. It's been a long time, but uh, they add up. Kind of wish I didn't cut that now because this chain is pretty rusted. The motor might have ran. But uh, another thing I'm thinking is the thing turned on, so the batteries might be halfway decent. Uh, I guess I'll just cut the chain. Okay. And yeah, it looks like I got three screws, Phillips. For giggles, I'm going to put the screws back in the motor. Like I say, if that motor works, and I decide to make an automatic can crusher or something, that motor might just come in really handy for that. Because I don't always do an AC one. Okay, yeah, there's probably not really a whole lot on these to tear apart. Uh, like I say, you got to get the motor right there. And I may have to clip the wires or they probably just connect on the inside. Okay, I got a strap there holding the batteries in. Let's see, what do they say? The charging voltage for float use 14.0102 volt charging voltage. So I take it to 12 volt. Cut them right now, and I'll later get my voltmeter out. And uh, you know, I don't have to cut that one. May have to cut these two though. Uh, probably right in there. What is it? Parallel or a series to make it 24 volt? And this is probably the charger right here. Getting power into that thing, that might be a, another story. So basically, here we've got a little bit of wire, low grade, it's real thin.
very little wire, probably not hardly worth the time. Phillips screws, but it's probably number one head. After the motor, the motor just dropped. That's basically it. Uh, got your batteries, which I don't know if any of you sold batteries, but I got a Chevy Colorado. The first time I took my batteries in, I had from the front of the bed to just past the wheel wells, about even with it, and it was 25 cents a pound, and I had like $297. So I thought, wow, guy could almost retire on batteries if he had enough. So they're worth saving. Even these here, you know, probably a buck a piece, I would say. But I'm going to strip the wires back, put my uh, tester on it, see what the voltage is. I might put the trickle charger on there. I'm pretty sure they're 12 volt, which I'll be able to tell when I put the voltmeter on there. And, uh, See if they're any good. If they are, I might use them for a project or who knows. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to get this in, get it uploaded, and get back to loading my trailer. It's Wednesday, but I'm trying to get it ready to go for for Friday morning or Saturday. Yeah, probably Friday morning probably. Uh, yeah, Friday afternoon maybe. If not, Saturday morning. We'll just have to see how far I get. I'm going to take uh, take my cans in. I don't know if that can cage that I showed in a video some time ago. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's getting pretty full. There's a little pocket on the far side. I, I still have a little bit of room in there, but and that's made where it'll just fit into between the wheel wells on my Chevy Colorado. It's a little over six foot long. And it's the height of a cattle panel, roughly, I think, 54 inches tall. So I'm not sure what the cans are paying down there, but I'm going to take them in Thursday. I'm taking Friday off, so I'm going to take them in Friday morning. So thanks for watching, everyone. You take care. Happy scrapping.